Hello, hello, hey, hey, and welcome back to the Artifacts of Marvelous Birds. Uh, last time, we beat... <laughs> end of Demo 3, uh, we beat the... The hack as it is currently, and now I'm just... Ooh, uh... Not just outside, but even inside, I really... Okay, I kind of... Think I see what's happening here, um... The... Like, whenever you beat the special world after Star Road on Super Mario World, and you can change, like, the whole everything, the whole look of the world. I wonder if I triggered that along with beating World 5, which that's a really cute thing to do. That's a really nice little touch in order to, like, add a little bit of drama to <laughs> the story of this hack. That's really cute. I like, I like that a lot. But I'm going to look here and see if there's something I can do, especially if I have a feather to find a blue switch palace. Oh, and I can take the easy route with the fire. Also gotta be careful because now fire can burn these. as well likes it. <laughs> I'm going to probably go back to that top secret area and at least keep f both fires. I don't think that fire and ice has any need for a feather. I don't really remember that stage, but uh, I would sure like to have, ouch, some pain in my ears. I would sure like to have uh, fire. And a nice one up. And a second nice one up. And I haven't beaten this stage. <laughs> it's not a stage to beat, so I can't start select out of there. But I mean one of those two red levels has to... Oh, I also... You know what I really wanted to do and haven't done yet? <laughs> I need to look and see if, uh... How many exits I have. I was really hoping to get a shot in that could drop that fella. not been up on this part of things, I don't think, before. Okay, come over here, buddy. Need to kill you. I mean, I don't need to kill you, but I need to kill you. <laughs> Wait, oh, yeah, I have been over here, so it does meet up eventually. I wonder if the secret exit is in that section, then. Oh, wonderful. This is a cool section nonetheless, uh, simple but effective. Please go. And spooky. So I do appreciate taking this path, even if it doesn't really skip out that much. Uh, there's no pipes or anything up there. In fact, yeah. This is like more effort than anything just to take this path. What is worthwhile to go over here. A change of music, because that's also a worthwhile thing to seek out, I guess. Come on. 
How am I supposed to get through here? Well, thanks, I s really did it. This leaves me right here. If anything, that is just powerful in the sense that I can go through here and get this again. Of course, I don't have the time to do stuff multiple times like that, but I could get Fire Flower again, potentially. I wonder if I can get this again. Did I die, or did that A-Coin respawn? I haven't gone to the right, I don't think. <laughs> there we go. I just want to explore this level a little bit more. I haven't fully given it a shot. I figured that would happen. I saw me slowly slipping one pixel at a time, and I was like, maybe? But I didn't try to do anything to stop it from continuing on. So here's a life. Oh. Uh, if I can get through without getting hit, then I can get my fire flower back and see if that's useful anywhere. Both of those are like hugging each other, so easy to kill both. That was really smart. <laughs> nice! <laughs> I was about to feel like that's really smart on my behalf. But also, <laughs> that <laughs> lightning thing phasing through reality was kind of a beautiful sight. Do I need to go left and then come back right? Have I seen this section before? Over to the right? I love when Mario do a powerful sit. That's fine. I can at least kill you. Get my prize. Almost get hit, because I really wanted to kill that fella. That is a side you can only go to once you go down below, I guess. I'm gonna 
get rid of this Lava Lotus. Maybe not. Maybe it's got too fat of a hitbox. There we go. This looks familiar. I have taken this path, haven't I? this. Killing that guy in order to get the fire flower up here. So this is definitely the path I took. So, I had to take the other path, not just for a little detour, but also to open up the left path of this area. blocks. I'm gonna see if I can get a mushroom somewhere. Yes, I can get up there. Because I do want to enter back in this stage with a mushroom so that I can get a fire flower just to make things easier. even though I already have my path that I'm going to be taking. So, let me get my fire flower first. Or not. Wait a second. And now, I'll take this path, and I'll have a second fire flower if I don't get hit, and I'll have these activated to the point where they need to be. Wonderful job. Can I go underneath here? Yeah, there is water underneath enough for me to do that. that much height. That's okay. I think I got something. I think I got the freaking stage done, so... I should have... I have it down. I think I have the stage figured out enough for me to think that I have the blue switch palace. Nice. Speedy.
Come on. I'm gonna take the risky side. For zero reason. And instead of getting a <laughs> power up, I'm just gonna go straight away to the left. I see a key. We did it, boys. We found a secret exit. I so assumed that the secret exit was going to require me to have the blue switch palace, but no, not at all. That's fine. <laughs> the vibrating sitting <laughs> is really good. It's very incredible. I like this secret exit, um, because this doesn't seem like a secret exit, it's just like a small little jog, like, and that's cute enough on its own, I appreciate that in anything, like, even if it had zero purpose, but the fact that this little jog is also kind of necessary for the purpose of a uh, secret exit makes it super cool to me. Jeez, with everything. Nice. Got out of there. Got through there really fast. And I didn't get a fire flower. I jumped really early there. I'm surprised I didn't get hurt. I'm gonna have to be careful with the fire spitting flower over on the left and Mr. Thunder Thighs. Lava Lotus. I thought it was a fire flower that was causing me issues, but it's a lava lotus. It's actually a little scarier. Honestly. That's honestly a little scarier. <laughs> So I guess I will try to do this while making making sure I maintain a hit. Can I kill this with a sit? Knowledge. <laughs> That's not a big game changer, but makes me more comfortable. And I shall do it. That's my favorite. <laughs> nice one up. <laughs> now I have a reserve mushroom. Just kidding. <laughs> it was a good joke. I never had a reserve mushroom. Don't worry about it. Let's just keep this mushroom for sure. Do this safe and carefully. And also speedy, but still safe and carefully. Nice. 
Nice. Okay, I have fixed the issue that was troubling me up above with this guy that was just circling right here. By accidentally pressing the switch again, they decided to move on with their life. Just don't get hit and I can save this mushroom for the good deed of getting me that key. Or I could also just, you know, a little something like that. Oh, I found this key last time, too. I just didn't know where to bring it. Is there something somewhere? Oh! Where is the key? Okay. That's, that is the big question. I had the key all along last time. I'm just remembering. That's why I thought the blue switch palace was needed, because I was like, maybe... Again, beautiful. Maybe the blue switch palace leads up to there where the key is probably at. Upon which... That means I'm probably going to bring a cape. <laughs> a feather and a cape. Or a feather and a, and a fire flower. Fire flower and a cape. Give me that one up. Interesting. I did not mean to do that, but that's a thing. Interesting. I guess I did see... I didn't see... I didn't notice, but... Yeah, there is a path. Little the water dots that uh, you can see here that let you know that there's a path in the water. I should have kind of figured that out, but that's nice. Why did you not sit? Why? <laughs> I didn't. Maybe I. It's because I pressed the Y button to. The game thought I wanted to do a spin rather than sit. I don't know. Gotta be careful with my inputs then. No, I can't exit that way. Also, there goes my fire flower. Okay, fine. Because <laughs> I press start select to pause and leave level. And then I press start select to unpause and cause tragedy. Can I kill it? Yeah, I can. be a long episode just because I'm traveling back and forth to get more capes. I think I'm going to bring two capes. <laughs> just because I can kill thunder thighs easily. Just kidding. So that I only have one trip. I'm bringing a fire flower. And a cape. That's all I need. equipped just for the safety.
still glad that I can do this pretty alright without having to like waste extreme amount of time, but for the most part it's this little jog that takes some time. But in a sense that is like part of the secret exit of this stage, so that's always going to be really cool to me. That guy's gotten rid of. All right. I guess maybe now I should probably. Oh, I think I, I still want to have this out. No, I actually. <laughs> sorry. For immediately right here, I do want to have that, and then I want to bring this out. Burn anything that may be a problematic, and also just the safety of keeping this alive. Good. Good. Good! Nice. that right there. Dang it! <laughs> I guess getting the flight that I seek is not the easiest thing in the world. that my capes weren't so far away. That would have been it if I actually had this out. Man, I should almost like put down a save state, but I really cannot allow myself to do such a thing. It's not amazing that I was actually able to pull off the right maneuver <laughs> with the wrong tool. Okay, this is the run that means all all the beans. That, w that was just a joke. I, I wanted to make you guys feel pain and suffering as I do. Um, that There was zero beans included in that run. And that was the funny part of my hilarious joke about that being the run. Alright, nice. Rude. I can't kill you! Urgh! I should have just grabbed and moved on. There's really no reason for me to murder, but I had a vendetta. Man, 
man, this this episode's gonna have serious and heavy editing, isn't it? Why am I going this way? I don't need that. That's just gonna eat up my mush or my feather. No need for that mushroom. looking at the other urchin that was about to enter above the ceiling there. That's why I had to watch it. Only for me to end up getting hurt and lose one of my power-ups already. sliding. Alright. <laughs> I, I see exactly what happened and why I didn't slide there, but I am definitely not happy about it. breathing. was for nothing, as I expected. Is that where the secret exit is? Down there? I, I yeah! You can kind of see a little bit of the keyhole in that, the bottom of that tree. that keyhole. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. But man, the editing that I'm going to be doing in this episode, this is like an hour that I put it in. <laughs> I'm just going back and forth to re-equip myself and come back for a cape that I didn't need. I didn't need any tools, actually. I just made it harder on myself and take so long and added extra fatigue and, yeah, totally worth my while, but, oof. I hope I can trim this down a sizable amount, at least, uh, just with the at least trips of going back and forth to get the cape and the fire flower. I'm saving this blue switch palace and maybe even the secret exit of uh, the other, my final red stage for next time. 
So you guys have a good one. And until then, party on, folks.